All right, guys, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Here with another Fortnite video. Now, today is going to be something a little bit different. I know you guys are used to seeing, uh, in a lot of my recent videos, you're used to seeing footage, you know, Fortnite gameplay where uh, you're not seeing me talk to you guys directly, but you hear my commentary um, from clips that I, I put together. But today I'm talking to you guys directly because. I'm going to do actually an updated locker tour and full settings video, but only my in-game settings. So if you guys are looking for my other settings on my PC, all my other settings, I'm going to make a video on that later um, for my NVIDIA control panel settings, uh, you know, overclocking, whatever, all the settings, other settings I have. But for today, we're just going to keep it within Fortnite itself. Just within the game itself, I'm going to go over my settings, my keybinds. Um, I'm going to give you guys a locker tour of all my stuff. Um, I'm hopefully going to, this will answer all your questions, but if you have any questions, make sure to comment below and just let me know and I'll get to it as quickly as I possibly can. So first, let's see, we got battle pass. Yep, I have the battle pass. I've gotten the battle pass every season, I believe, except, uh, maybe every season, maybe like one season I didn't get it. I don't remember. Um, anyway. Let's go over to the locker here first before we get into the in-game settings. So they added, Epic added the presets option here pretty recently. So I made a few because I was just like, why not, I guess. So these are the presets I have here for now. Um, I just gave them some silly names. Clicks wannabe, as you can see. But yeah, you can see, see these are some of my favorite uh, items to wear and some of my char favorite characters to use. So I made these presets so I can just easily switch to them when I... When I want to make things simple and easy, um, right now I have on, you know, my this is my favorite skin in the entire game, the Sparkle Specialist. Which, if for you, those of you that know me well and watch my streams regularly, you already know this. This is my favorite skin of all time. Um, I think not just the favorite skin I own, but I think it's just my favorite skin. Period. Uh, you know, I see it as my signature skin. Anyway, so let's go over all. We're, we're gonna take a look at all my skins here. Okay, so giving going down one by one for you guys. So you can see all the skins in my locker. Won't have any questions, hopefully. If you do though, feel free to comment. I will answer them for you. Uh, this skin was gifted to me by one of my great friends, Chris. Shout out to you. Love this skin. This skin I got um, the first Twitch Prime pack a long time ago, like season three maybe. Um, now you got these season eight skins, Dark Voyager, classic season three, Black Knight, super rare. Everyone loves this skin. If you guys don't know, I've been playing Fortnite since season zero before there were seasons. No, I do not have Renegade, uh, Aerial Soul Trooper, Recon. Nope, I didn't buy those when they were in the shop, but I was playing then. I do actually have the Mako Glider and the Battle Bus Banner, which proved that I've been playing since season one. Um, there were no cosmetics in season zero, so. There's really no way to prove that, but if you've seen my old videos on the YouTube channel, you know what's up. Um, sorry about that. All right, let's keep going. You can see you got a lot of skins here, but probably about half these, most of these skins I got from the Battle Pass for free, and then uh, mo uh, most of the other ones were gifted to me by some friends, people from the stream, kind individuals. And then a few others I purchased myself using creator code until might, of course. Thank you to anyone that used my code. Got the John Wick from season three. Got a lot of skins here. Old face sway dark bomber. This new banana with the suit, which is hell of fire. Oh, got going on here. Elite agent from season three. No mask, which I really like that option. Shout out to exotic. That's his favorite skin. The elite agent with no mask. Uh, I used to wear this all the time in season six. This ghoul, which my boy Kev gifted to me. Shout out to Kev, love you, fam. This is one of my favorite skins for sure. Ghoul trooper. Keep going down here. This skin is really cool because it's reactive, and every time you change weapons, it changes from a llama to a lion. It's really sick. Uh, Meowsicles. Ahmed loves that skin. Uh, 
old P1000 challenge pack skin that Cisco gifted to me. Thank you. He lost a wager to me 10 0. And yeah, so that's the story on that one. <laughs> Shout out to Taz. Signature skin for Taz. My favorite skin of all time, my baby. Sparkle Specialist. Tiger skin. The knockoff sparkle. Another skin of Kev's. Ah, this is the, the Twitch Prime uh, pack number two. I wore this back in season four. I believe Twitch Prime pack number one was in season three, and then this one was in season four. Where'd it go? Right there. Let's keep going. Trog. Yep. Lots and lots of skins. Goofy skins. Uh, season two skin. Soccer skin, ugh. You guys can see the ones I have favorited. So the ones I have favorited are obviously my favorite skins. So, um, but I'll get to that in a second. Have the Royale Knight, another season two skin. Spark plug, Solar just gifted it to me the other day. I love you, Solar. This is one of my new favorite skins. Thank you so much. Been wanting that one for a while. Aura, one of my favorites to wear, 100%. Yeah, I have a lot of skins I like. Crystal, I used to wear that all the time. And this skin. This skin is very unique. I'm a big fan of it. Jungle skin I wore all the time in like season 8. This isn't favorited? No, I guess not. Nice though. A lot of cool skins. These are all my favorites, as you can see. Not gonna go through every one because that'd be redundant, but yeah, these are my favorites. Put back on my baby. And yeah, keep moving. Let's go to the back blings. You can see the back blings here. Lots and lots of back blings. That's from the Twitch Prime pack, the old Black Knight Shield. Looks good on almost everything. I love it. Classic season two. The Ragnarok cape, I never wear that. A lot of people like that one though. A lot of people like this backlink too. With the Lux from season eight, I think. Samurai sword, I love. It goes with almost everything. You can see the ones I have favorited here too, so those are the ones I really like. There are so many cosmetics in this game, it's crazy. I didn't even realize, to be honest. This is actually a nice one. Somebody gifted me that whole set recently. I think it was uh, Bear. I'm not sure though. Holy, this is a lot of backlinks. This dog is actually sick. And that dragon. Have they released any pets these season? Pet backlinks? Because I love the pets, honestly. Ah, uh, the old. If you guys don't know, actually, my birthday, July 24th, is the same as Fortnite Battle Royale's birthday. So that's really cool. So I love that backlink. Ah, uh, the old Season 2 shield as well. For the Squire and then for the Royal Knight. They look exactly the same to me. But whatever. Almost done, there you go. Uh, this new one, I love this uh, back bling. It's actually sick. Four leaf clover, or three leaf clover, but still. So yep, these are my favorites here, as you can see, this whole page. And just no back bling, that's what I had on right now. I just started wearing no back bling recently and I, it just looks really clean actually a lot of the time. So here we have the pickaxes. Gosh darn. So you can see the ones I have favorited here as well. I wore this one a lot last season. Or, yeah. Wait, when did they have the lightsabers? Maybe that was this season. I don't know. Oof. Some nice pickaxe in this game. This one is amazing. Not gonna lie. Minty Axe. Shout out to Sinry for gifting me that. Oh my. One of my favorite pickaxes. 100%. 
I wanted it so badly and my boy hooked me up. What a guy. He hooked me up with a code. Uh, the old trusty number two. One of my favorite, favorite pickaxes. Super small, slim, sleek, and just pure stealth black. I, I love it. It's great. That axe caliber. Ooh, classic. Classic. Used to rock this one all the time back in the day. Axe caliber. A lot of dual wield pickaxes they've been adding. Some of them are nice. Some of them, eh. It is what it is. This new one, I actually really like this Gilded Scepter. It's actually fire. Oh, I used to use this all the time in Season 6. With the Red Riding Hood skin. Always. Fire combo. Lollipop, I used to use that a lot, but not anymore. This one is actually really nice. The purple variant. I love it. This is the one from, like, the Medical Chick. It's actually fire. I used to use this one in Season 8. Uh, the Sawtooth, another classic. Gingis. This one is actually pretty nice. Uh, surprised I don't use that. Star one is nice too. This the studded axe is so good. This is like a fan favorite of, among the Fortnite community. I feel like studded axe is a classic, hundred percent. This is actually really nice too. Goes with the whole Fortnite birthday theme that I love. This is one of the, I think this was, Xyler gifted to me this, gifted this to me ages ago. I think this is one of the first items I was ever gifted on this game. So, I'll always remember that. This is like one of my favorite pickaxes. It's just, I don't know man, the sound it makes and it's just thin. But, it just gets the job done man. It's a, it's a killer. I love it. The, the memes, just the meme life of this pickaxe is great. Shovel, also one of my all-time favorites, 100%. Season 7 and stuff, I used to use this all the time. This one's pretty nice. Everything with the, the those like ninja uh, people, or, I don't know. That whole set is like nice. And default. Default Andy. So here you can see my favorites again. Mintiax is like probably my favorite. I don't know. Mintiax Golf Club and Shovel and Trusty Number Two, I guess. Just love them. Fire. Absolute fire. Anyway, let's go to the gliders now. Wow. We have got a lot of cosmetics. This one was gifted to me by Bobby. This is like. This thing is sick, dude. It's just gigantic. Like, some of the gliders, like, look sick, but they're just massive. Like, they take up too much space on my screen for me to use them. This one is really cool. Like, the fact that it's not actually a glider, but you stand on top of it. That was a really unique idea for them to add that. Like, these are just huge, though. Like, look at these. Holy crap. <laughs> this is nuts. Yeah, this one is really cool. I remember when this came out during like Halloween. This has got to be one of my favorites. Also from season two, it goes with the Sparkle Specialist. This one was from the Twitch Prime Pack too. The first Twitch Prime Pack, I think. The High Octane, that's a good one. Ew, that reminded me of season nine. That stuff's from like season nine too. Dude, some of these are such troll gliders, I swear. I love this Slipstream. Love it, love it, love it. I think slip, Slipstream is from Twitch Prime Pack number two. Correct? Not sure, though. Like, I didn't even realize I had this many gliders, to be honest, guys. I really didn't. I didn't realize I had this much stuff, period. I don't even know how much this this Fortnite account is worth, to be honest. I have like 1,800 wins on this account. A ton of cosmetics, but I would never sell my account because that's against TOS chat. Sorry, not chat. I'm not streaming. I'm used to live stream. Just recording. But don't sell your account. Don't trade your accounts. Don't sell them. Don't want to get banned. 
It's a pretty good. This is a pretty good one. Goes with the bright bomber, I think. Or does this one go with the bright bomber? I don't even know. The snakes. The animations for some of these gliders that are to deploy are actually really cool. Oh, I never even knew I had this. That's so cool, actually. I might favorite that one. Spray sail. That was nice. Oh my god, the Santa sleigh. That's awesome. I like tree fall. That's... Oh yeah, I favorited it, so I must have liked it. Catwing. That's pretty cool. This one I just got. Base jumper, okay. Carbon. Yo, this one's nice. I'm favoriting this one, 100%. Cinder. Some of these are clean. No, no cap. Downshift. Field fire, globe trotter. And the old Mako. Everyone loves the Mako. Classic. You could only get this in season one of Fortnite, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, you always got to flex on them with it. I almost always use the Mako glider. And I like it, too. It's a, it's a nice, simple, clean design. But it's also very nostalgic for me. And, you know, you got you to gotta flex sometimes. Scarlet Strike. That's actually pretty cool, too, I think. I'm gonna favor that one too. <sighs> another season two glider. Not another one, I should say. But season two glider. Oh, and I have I have the umbrellas from every season. I got at least one win every season. I mean, hundreds of wins, but I have every umbrella from every season. I do not have the founder's umbrella though. Because I didn't get Save the World back then. Even though I have been playing this game since November of 2017. Believe it or not, chat. I keep saying chat. So there you go. You got the Season 2. I love this umbrella so much. As you can see, I mean, I have it favorited. And then, yeah. I think, I mean, this is what you got for winning in season one, but I think now if you just get a win any season, you get this, right? Or can you only get that from season one? I actually don't know. Someone tell me in the comments if you're, if you're uh, listening to this right now. And then we have my favorites here. You saw I just favorited a couple of these, but the Mako Glider for sure being my favorite. And probably my second favorite being the season two umbrella. It's just, I love it. And season two was such a great season. In fact, I'm putting it on right now. We have lots of contrails. Holy moly. Lots of contrails. I'm not going to spend too much time on these because... I don't know. There's going to be a lot. I just already know. But I'll let you see the animation on each one. It's wild how many cosmetics they've introduced into this game. And I mean, I only have a small, relatively small portion compared to most players. I mean, if you look at like the big YouTubers and content creators, streamers, the amount of, I don't even know. That's why they added a search bar because people have too much damn stuff. I'm telling you, it's wild. Make sure you guys comment down below your favorite, uh, you know, your favorite cosmetics, your favorite skins, pickaxes, gliders, back blinks, contrails, music, loading screens. Just make sure you guys comment your favorites down to, down below. I'm curious. I'd love to hear it. Love to hear it. There's my favorites. Yeah, this one is really cool. Lightning strike. And just regular lightning, those are fire. Rift lightning, I like all the, all these lightning ones, they're super cool. Or like where they're just fire. This one's cool too. Anyway, moving on. Emotes, oh my. How are we gonna, how are we gonna go through emotes? How are we? This is so many emotes. 
Holy, I'm just gonna scroll through these. I'm not gonna click on every single one of these. You can just take a look at them. Cause you have to boogie down now. Make sure you guys enable 2FA on your account. Protect your accounts, guys. Protect your accounts. Best mate. Classic for season two. Shout out to Logan. We used to do that emote all the time in season two. The floss. Everyone asked me to do the floss for some reason. Well, because it's super rare, but it's a great emote too. Classic. This emote is hilarious. I need a favorite. Shout out to James for gifting me that email yesterday. Make it rain, he gifted to me too. I don't know. That's great. Love it, love it, love it. Take the L. Always gotta keep that one on the first page for the toxic kids. Season 3 classic. What can I say? Coin flip. I didn't even know I had that. Or yeah, I guess I did, but that's cool. Very cool. So much stuff, guys. I don't even know where to begin. But you'll see my favorites in a second. Steam. I think Tiger just did me that yesterday. I don't know who did. If you gifted me any of these emotes, if you gifted me any of these cosmetics, period, skins, whatever it was, if you gifted me a skin ever in Fortnite, a skin, a glider, a back bling, an emote, anything, let me know in the comments, guys, so I can shout you out and appreciate you and thank you, because I love each and every one of you guys, man. Thank you so much. So here are my favorites, as you can see now. Pawn Pawn is great. Ninja changed the whole game, let me tell you. Whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that. Wow. This is just a lot of stuff, guys. But you can see my favorites. Uh, this one I love to do in Season 8. I think it's good. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of emotes. And then... Wait. Oh, I need to put... What was in here? Scootin', I think? So this is what's on my first page right now, these emotes. Oh, wait, but I changed what was on here. I need to change it back. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember what was on the first page. I changed it on accident. Whatever, I'll have to fix it later. Sorry about that. Um, and now we have wraps, tons of wraps. I'm not gonna click on each one, but you can see here all the wraps I have. Tons, these are my favorites. Stealth Black and Bogeyman, these two being some of my absolute favorites but I don't know so many of these are fire so many really nice wraps boogeyman sorry not boogeyman boogeyman is still black fantastic wraps and then here we have look I haven't even seen all these icons holy moly they made a double bump icon. I didn't even know they made a double bump icon. But yeah, you can see all this stuff. Holy. And these are just the Battle Royale icons. Uh, so then we have standard icons too. Okay. Holy. Alright, lots of icons. So I think the super rare one I have is the Battle Bus Banner. I think you could only, if you played in Season 1, that's the only way you can have this one, I think. That's what people tell me, at least. So, Lots of music. I'm not even going to play it all. I don't know. Uh, who even cares that much to be honest? Uh, not even that many tracks, actually. Because they, they, they only started releasing music in, what, Season 9 or 
seven I don't I don't know so you guys can see all the music I have here I didn't even favorite any of them or I guess I did favorite a lot of them but here you can see all the music all the tracks and then we have loading screens tons of loading screens same thing I'm not gonna click on all of them but you can just take a look for yourselves have a gander maybe I'll click on some of like my favorite or no you'll see my favorites on the next page probably about 50% of these are favorited but yeah tons and tons of loading screens some of them are really nice I'll give them that some of their artists did an incredible job now, I don't know if some of these were submitted by fans or what but some of these people are incredible artists very impressed not gonna lie so yeah wow tons of favorited ones I don't know why I have the mech favorited it. Ugh, I can't speak. Yeah, I'm gonna unfavorite that right now, actually. Get the mech out of my face. Thank you. Uh, well, oh, this one, this one is so good. Love it. This one, too. Start of chapter two. This one, a classic. Oh, this one brings me back to season six vibes. Floor is lava, if any of you remember that. LTM. Holy moly, it feels like forever ago. And Air Royale, too. It's old season one vibes here. Love to see it. Same thing here. Yeah, really cool stuff. Really cool. Alright, well, I guess that completes the locker tour for you guys. So I'm going to move on now to my settings before we wrap this up. Make sure you guys are supporting. If not me, just make sure you're supporting someone in the item shop, guys. Because, you know, you may as well. It doesn't cost anything for you. You know, if you're going to buy V-Bucks and buy cosmetics anyway, you may as well support a creator. It doesn't cost you any extra. But if you guys want to support me, just type in creator code until my item shop. And I really appreciate it. Um, I love each and every one of you that support me and uh, purchase cosmetics using my code. So thank you for that. But, yeah, moving on career I guess I'll go to my career some people might be curious so I don't know if all this is accurate or not but it says I have 341 solo wins I think this is my console and PC stats combined and my controller and keyboard and mouse stats combined I think it's just all my stats combined so there's my battle bus banner and I you know I live in the US so I chose the US flag so it says here I have 341 wins in solos, 452 in duos, and 929 in squads. If I do the math, that sounds about correct because, like I said, I have about 1,800 wins in total from the start of my Fortnite career. Now let's get into the settings. I think that's that's really all we have left. So some of these. Uh, these are my current settings, keep in mind. These are my current settings, but I have changed them around a lot since I've started playing Fortnite, and I, some of them I change day to day. I try out different things all the time, so just keep that in mind. These are just my current settings, not my permanent settings. But anyway, I'm going to show them to you guys now. So right now, I'm playing in full screen mode, but just to give you a good example that I change my settings all the time, just yesterday I was playing in windowed full screen, and probably for like the past two weeks. And I'd say, since I switched to PC, I've mostly been playing in windowed full screen. So just keep that in mind. But right now, I am playing in full screen mode. Um, display resolution, I've tried out 16 by 9 I have never played in any stretch resolutions. Um, I wasn't playing on PC when there were stretch resolutions. And when there was the glitch, uh, I don't know, a month ago or whenever that was, I didn't play because I knew they would take it away, which they did. So I just play in native resolution, and that's it. Um, I almost always cap my frame rate at 240 FPS. Um, I'm not going to go into details about why that is. I'm not going to explain all the technical things. Um, if you don't know, if you don't understand why, you can try to look it up and you'll understand. But um, I recommend, I certainly recommend capping your FPS. Um, I would not play on unlimited. And my brightness, I just keep it at the default 50%. And I use, I, as you can see, I have the contrast on a little bit. See, I'll take it off for you guys so you can see what it looks like without it. Um, this is what it looks like normally. But I use, I like to have, keep it on 1.25. I just think it looks nice and clean. Right now I'm playing on Tritonote, that colorblind setting. 
and that helps me to see llamas really well this season. I, If I'm looking for one, I can almost always spot at least one llama before I even jump out of the battle bus. So that's why I use this colorblind setting. But in the past, I've used no colorblind. All of like last season, chapter 2, season 1, I didn't even use colorblind at all. I used Deuteronope like 5, Deuteronope 5, like 5 on the colorblind strength um, for many seasons. And I used like Protonope 8 for a long time too, but no, this season I'm using Tridonope. Um, for my quality settings, I keep my 3D resolution on 100%. Anything less just looks too blurry. Even 1600 by 900 resolution looks a little blurry, like it's noticeable, so... Um, you will get better performance if you lower your 3D resolution, but at the cost of, you know, it's just not worth it how blurry it'll look. So I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you have a really bad PC. My view distance I have on medium right now, but just know I almost always have it on epic. So I just changed this yesterday. Like I said, I'm tinkering my, with my settings day to day. My shadows I have off, anti-aliasing off. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to go into technical details and explain all these settings to you guys and what each of them means because that's not what this video is about. I'm just showing you my settings. If you don't know, just look up, look it up or ask me in the comments and I will feel free, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments and I will get to, I will answer your questions. So don't worry about that. I just don't have time to go over all that in the video or this video will be way too long. But anyway, I have anti-aliasing off, textures on low. I have played around with this a little bit though. I've used medium, high. Um, mostly just medium, but it's almost always, I always, always keep these all on low and shadows. I always have off. I would always keep the shadows off. Um, effects low post processing low V sync. I almost, I've tried turning it on in game, but very rarely it's almost always keep it off. Um, like I said, I'll make a video later with my Nvidia control panel settings and my other settings on my windows OS and on my desktop, but not right now. Just keeping it within Fortnite for now. Motion blur, always keep it off. Show FPS, I keep it on. Um, so I can see here, you can see it's in the bottom left right now and it shows up in the top right in game. Um, so I can see how bad my FPS is dropping. And that's without even using an in-game overlay like NZXT cam or Reva Tuner statistics server, which you guys, if you've seen any of my videos and you've seen the, all these numbers in the top left, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm using DirectX 11 right now because DirectX 12, it's still in beta and there's just too many bugs for me to be able to enjoy it. My game cra seems to crash more and the FPS drops seem to be more severe. So for right now I'm using DirectX 11, but I have changed this around back and forth many times uh, since DirectX 12 was released. Um, I always keep multi-threaded rendering on. Um, you guys can look in the description to see what kind of PC I have, what kind of PC I'm using at the moment. but um, I have eight physical cores and eight logical cores, so I have many, many processors on the CPU. I'm sorry, many cores in the CPU. It, it doesn't make any sense not to take advantage of them. Um, even though I think Fortnite only uses two at the most, I, I'm not quite sure on that, but in any case, it's definitely to your benefit to use multi-threaded rendering in, in my situation. You, uh, GPU crash debugging, I always keep that off. Um, I, you know, I, I already have enough FPS drops in this game as it is from time to time, so I'm not going to reduce my performance just to send them statistics about crashes because they, they need to just, Epic has to deal with that themselves. So you can see my settings, English, always keep that on English, I speak English, I read English, NA East, that's my matchmaking region. Um, you can see my ping to all the different servers. Uh, my latency here, it says in the settings, is 18 milliseconds, but that's not entirely accurate. But this is because I got a new internet provider recently, and I got, uh, I had now have fiber internet. Shout out to AT&T. Um, a few weeks ago, I switched over from Xfinity, so I have this lower number in in-game settings. But just realize that in Battle Royale, I get on average about 30 ping. Um, in competitive, a little higher and then toward the end of matches and public matches lower it can go down into the single digits or lower even toward the very end of like a say a solo public match but in competitive it's going to be 30 ms or higher almost all the time and then in creative uh it'll be anywhere from zero to 30 it just depends how many people i'm playing with so just keep that in mind um toggle sprint off sprint by default i have on 
Uh, I've been using that ever since I started keyboard and mouse. I use Sprint by default on a controller too, actually. Um, Sprint cancels reloading. I have off, auto open doors on. I turned that on a few seasons ago and I've just gotten used to it. Hold the swap pick off, pick up. Um, yeah, I have that off. Uh, toggle targeting off. Mark danger when targeting on. Auto pick up weapons. I have on. Auto sort consumables to the right. I have on. Reset building choice on. Turbo building on. Uh, that's a no-brainer. Confirm. Edit on release. Uh, relatively new setting that Epic added to the game. Um, I turned this on. I didn't always use this, um, but when when Epic released it, I switched to it uh, just maybe a day or two after they released it and just started getting used to it, and now I'm just I'm accustomed to it, so I've been using it ever since. Contextual tips I have on. Invert view off. Invert airborne controls off. Turbo delete and creative mode on. NVIDIA highlights, I just turned this off yesterday, but I almost always have this on. It automatically captures uh, highlights, like it sounds, uh, just like it sounds, captures highlights, eliminations, wins, um, automatically records, things like that, and that helps me create content for YouTube very easily and things like that. Clips for Twitter, TikTok, um, but yeah, I have it off right now because uh, I'm, I'm, I've been tinkering with my settings doing all kinds of troubleshooting to try to deal with fps drops um but yeah right now it's off but i usually have it on peripheral lighting i have on tap to search slash interact i have on record replays record large team replays record creative mode replays i have all these off because i use nvidia highlights so i really don't have much need to record replays the only time i might want to record is to you know watch back every second of a game and do a VOD review or something or, or see what I might have done wrong or my teammate or what we did right. If I was trying to do some kind of VOD review or see if see someone's name if they're in anonymous mode. But uh, I, I can go through my stream VODs for that and stuff too because usually when I'm playing Fortnite, I'm streaming it on Mixer. Mixer.com forward slash on Tomite, by the way. My HUD scale I have on 70%. Uh, way back in the day, I used to play on 1.0, 100%. Um, and then I kind of slowly decreased it and I just settled on this number. It just works for me Show spectator count. I have on reticle on these are just HUD options player health on resources mini map quick bar all on target info pick up loot stream map Map and backpack keys elimination feed net debug stats This is to see your latency and your packet loss and just all the information about your network connection and your your uh, connection to Fortnite's Amazon cloud servers and stuff just see, seeing uh, Yeah, just like how you can see your FPS you can show your FPS in the top right you can show your latency and um, Network properties in the top left And then here we have quest progress. I have that off reticle ammo indicator I have off vehicle controls. I have off creative runtime performance stats. I have off. I didn't even know that was a thing I might turn that on I actually don't know what that is. I didn't they must have added that just recently um, X axis sensitivity now. I just recently now keep this in mind uh, for everyone wondering I have this in the description of all my YouTube videos by the way in case you're wondering about my sensitivity um, But I had it ever since I switched to keyboard and mouse I had been playing on the same sense up until Maybe just a couple weeks ago the first time I ever changed my sense um, ever since October of 2019, when I switched to keyboard and mouse, I've been playing on 20% X and Y and 800 DPI. I just recently tried, I turned it down to about 15.6% or 15.8%, I believe. And I tried that out for a couple days and now I've settled on 18%. And so just know this, this fluctuates. I, I used to always keep it the same, but now I, I started adjusting it a little bit. Uh, just to just, just to see how I might change my aim or my building so I may change this in the future But this is just my current settings right now. I have it on 18% X and Y and I play on 800 DPI still um, But just know this is always subject to change. I may turn it back up to 20% like I've always had it or I may lower it I may lower it more. I don't know. We'll see targeting sense right now. I have on 30% scope sense 40% ignore game Pad input I have off, lock input method as mouse off. Um, I think that this way this way I can just pick up the controller and play because I, I have a controller plugged in over here too in case I want to play controller. Um, sensitivity multiplier for mouse sensitivity multiplier for aircraft on 100% invert aircraft mouse controls off. 
and here controller I'm not gonna go over these settings because I don't play controller I haven't played controller since September of last year other than just picking it up to mess around for a few minutes um, so but we'll see if I become a hybrid player these might become more useful but I recently adjusted these to to like I don't know, I think these are like similar to face sway settings because Epic removed Legacy, I guess. I'm not sure if they actually did or not, but when I played controller, I played on Legacy because there were no other options. Um, so I don't know, but I don't play controller and I have not adjusted these settings at all. I just play keyboard and mouse, so I'm not worried about these right now. Moving along, these are what my sound settings look like right now. 3% on music. You know, if you listen closely, you can hear the music right now. Sound effects I have on 100%, dialogue on zero, voice chat on a 50, but I, if I'm talking with 15 other players in creative, I'm, I turn this down to anywhere from like 1% to 20%, right? But if I'm playing with just one or two or three close friends in a public match or something, then I'll keep it on about 50%, but just know I adjust that all the time. Cinematics is on 50%. Sound quality I have on high, 3D headphones off, it just doesn't work really well with my headset. I, I don't know why, I just, uh, or I, really I do know why actually, I think, well no, I, I don't know. This is not a surround sound headset, but I don't know, the 3D headphones just didn't sound right to me with my headset, so I don't use it. Background audio I have off, subtitles, oh. subtitles, oh, I didn't even know these settings were here, but whatever, not a big deal. Visualized sound effects I have off. Voice chat I have on, I use open mic. I've tried push to talk before. Unless I can get a foot pedal, I don't think I'm ever really gonna be using push to talk because it's just, I don't know. I have left control as push to talk right now, but it's just not, it doesn't work for me very well to use push to talk while I'm trying to build because Fortnite is a very demanding game in terms of pressing a lot of keys on your keyboard. So I don't use push to talk. Um, yeah, right now it says default input and output for my output and input device, but I know I'm using, this is what I'm using, my Yeti stereo microphone, blue Yeti USB mic for my input, and my output, I know I'm using speakers, high definition audio device, you can see right there. And voice channel, I have it set to party, voice chat notifications I have on, license audio, I have mute all, that's the setting I have. And here for my keybinds, uh, I have the standard for movement keybinds uh, on keyboard, I have W as move forward, A as left, S backward, D right, space bar is jump. Um, I do, I did set up some double movement keybinds, but I, I only tried them out once for a couple minutes. They're very hard to use, and it's still not as good as controller movement, so I don't really use the double movement binds. But I have them there in case I want to use them. So I have left control as move left also, so never mind, not push to talk. And I have B as move right. Um, sprint, I use sprint by default, so no sprint bind. Uh, I have Z as auto run, actually. Um, crouch is on my mouse. Um, it is a thumb mouse button on my mouse, on the left side of my mouse. Uh, now, keep in mind, these weren't the keybinds I started with when I first started playing keyboard and mouse. Um, when I was using a membrane keyboard within the first two weeks of keyboard and mouse, I changed up a decent amount of my binds. My build binds have, and edit binds have like almost always stayed the same, but some other binds like switching weapons and stuff, I changed around a lot the first few weeks on keyboard and mouse. But basically after a month and a half on keyboard and mouse, I really have never changed another bind since then other than with my, other than my bind for selecting tiles when I edit, which I'll explain in a moment. So most of my binds have remain relatively unchanged because when I switched to keyboard and mouse I tried to optimize them as best as I could um, you know that was in October of 2019 though so things have evolved players have learned different strategies but for, for you know for October of 2019 I basically tried to optimize my binds as best as I could for what was practical and what felt right for me um, so I use left click to shoot uh, everyone does and right click to ADS uh, Reload is R. That's the default bind use. I use scroll wheel um, scroll wheel up to pick up items um, E E is the default bind I think for that one and then I use it says O here. Oh That's not zero. Oh the letter O but 
it's bound to my mouse i have two side buttons on the right side of my mouse also and this is one of them O on my keyboard is bound to that side button so my pickaxe is on my mouse on a, one of the side buttons and then this is slot one so this is normally where my assault rifle is and it's bound to f right now um middle mouse button uh for slot two this is normally where my shotgun is so it's i click the scroll wheel this this means that i click the scroll wheel to pull out my shotgun i click the scroll wheel on my mouse that's what i have it bound to and then for weapon slot three i use tab this is usually where my smg is or some sort of spray weapon or rocket launcher sometimes or a grappler so tab is what i use for my third slot and i use c and x for my fourth and fifth slot and these usually have healing items and things like that uh, or some sort of utility item and then to crouch while building it's the same bind it's a thumb mouse button on the side of my mouse wall i use e and now these basic binds they're in the description of all my videos if you pay attention to that but i'm still going to go over them uh, for the sake of the video so for wall i use e for floor i use v for stairs i use a thumb mouse button also the one right next to crouch so a thumb mouse button on the left side of my mouse as well that's what i use for stairs and then i use q for roof and then for traps it says p but as i said with my harvesting tool my pickaxe for o p on my keyboard is also bound to a thumb mouse button on my mouse on the right side so trap the trap bind is also on my mouse but this is this isn't as important anymore now that fortnite vaulted spike traps RIP, I miss spike traps so much, especially when controller players jump in my box, but that's beside the point. Um, getting back to it. Yeah, so this bind isn't as useful now. Fortnite just reintroduced launch pads into the game, so it's a little bit more useful, but yeah, the button is on my mouse for now. Um, if spike traps don't come back, I may change this because this is I don't really need this on my mouse anymore without spike traps. It's not that important, but for right now, uh, the trap is on my mouse. And then to place builds, I use left click. So do most people. Um, pretty standard stuff. And then to repair, um, repair damage builds, damage structures, I use G. I don't use that very much, but when I do, I use G. Um, I bound this to zero. Now this is not an O. This is zero on my keyboard because I don't ever like to rotate my my build pieces usually. Um, if I ever rotate it, it's on accident from accidentally pre-editing a structure um if i become a really advanced builder more so than i am now and i i you know i want to rotate my builds mid fight to try to um gain some sort of advantage on my opponent maybe i'll change this but for now i keep it on zero so that i don't accidentally press it um but i keep it on zero just in case i accidentally rotate it that i so that i can rotate it back so that it's still bound to something um so that's why i keep it on zero and i don't just unbind it completely um but i could probably just in fact i'm actually going to unbind it right now because i think most of the time when i rotate something it's from pre-editing and i can just fix the pre-edit without using uh the rotate bind so i'm actually going to unbind this right now anyway moving along change building material i use four the number four on my keyboard to change building material that's also to um yeah so to change from wood to brick to metal etc i use four building edit i use left shift now before double before i switch to edit on release i use double edit binds and i use left shift to either start or finish the edit to start or confirm and i used what is now crouch so i use the thumb mouse button on my mouse uh to confirm or start the edit so I, well, that was when I used double edit binds, but since edit on release was introduced, pretty much I've been using edit on release the entire time. So I use left shift for that. And then this is so that I can have scroll wheel reset, which pretty much every keyboard and mouse player uses. So I bind mouse wheel down here and here, and that gives me the one button scroll wheel reset. So I use mouse wheel down to reset my walls um, or to reset any, any build piece. And to crouch while editing, same same bind. It's a mouse button on the left side of my mouse. To select the building edits, I use... So this is the bind. This is the most recent bind that is of any importance that I changed in recent memory. 
and I still think this was last year I changed this, maybe in December. It was a few months into keyboard and mouse that I changed this. Um, I heard some people were trying it, like Liquid Chap. So I tried it, and it was kind of tough at first. And I, yes, this does mean that I cannot ADS. I cannot, uh, it, it, it's a little tricky. Just, it's a little tricky to get used to. Um, I will say that, like, it, because if you I ADS I ADS my weapon and I select tiles to edit build pieces with the same bind so that can be a little tricky sometimes you just get stuck awkwardly ADSing at a wall but um, it takes a lot of practice but I don't know it seems to work better for me but I may change back to using left click but for now I've been using this for months and it's worked well for me I feel like I'm a very good editor in this game so I use right click to select uh, tiles for editing and then to ping or place markers I use four as well the same bind I use to change my material to change from wood to brick to metal same bind I use to ping four um, and then push to talk I have set to H right now so it's not on left control but I don't use push to talk like I said I never use it really and then that really oh so we have a couple more random things for emote to pull out my emote wheel I have it that set to M um, and then these are to do a bunch of the emotes I have on my first page of emotes they're set to six seven eight nine zero in case I want to do take the L on some toxic kit or something hyphen and then two is to repeat my last emote so yep and then bunch of random stuff no one really cares about this to toggle my map I have that set to N um, I keep it one away from my floor so I don't accidentally pull out uh, I don't accidentally toggle my map when I'm trying to press my floor because that's what I used to do when I first switched to keyboard and I had I had map on B instead of N but I moved it over to N way back then so to toggle my inventory, I have that set to T. And to carry, I have that set to G. To carry knocked players. And that's about it. All my vehicle binds are set to the, to the default binds. I haven't changed them whatsoever. So that about covers the entire locker tour for Untold Might and all of my key binds. With that being said... I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful to some of you. Um, make sure to comment your favorite cosmetics in the comments below. If you have any questions about my locker or any of my keybinds or any of my graphic settings, any of my settings in Fortnite, make sure to ask me in the comments or DM me on Discord and I will, I will answer them. Um, before I end this video, I want to say a couple more things. I want to thank you guys for all of the crazy amount of support on my socials recently um, so on mixer if you guys don't know I think most of you are here from the stream so most of you know but I stream almost every day on mixer uh, mixer.com forward slash until might I want to thank you guys so much because a couple days ago we reached 12,000 followers and I had not even been streaming that consistently until recently so I really appreciate the support from you guys it means the world to me we've reached 135,000 almost 136,000 total views and just surpassed 12,000 followers. So you guys are amazing. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. Make sure you check out the info section in here. Um, I haven't updated in a little while, but it has my TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn, all, all my links, all my socials. Um, you can just click these and it'll take you directly to them. Um, and then donation links, everything. All. Now this is an upgraded with my uh, new PC specs and everything. I've been really busy grinding YouTube. This this whole description isn't completely up to date, but I'll get to it eventually. I've just been busy, so I apologize for that. But you can see my socials here. You can click these links, and then you can visit my past streams. If you missed anything and you want to go back and watch a VOD, um, you can do that here too. Um, it's a great platform, and I appreciate all of you that support me and watch my streams. Um, you guys mean the world to me, man. Moving on, we're, we have Twitter here. I haven't promoted these socials in a while, so make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, though. I am I am uploading on here regularly, I'm telling you guys. So I'm uploading clips, uh, my thoughts on the game, um, all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, my thank yous to you guys, my, my fans, my supporters, my friends. Um, 
so make sure you guys follow me at until might on Twitter um, I'll I follow all my friends back so just know that whether it's mixer twitch TikTok, YouTube you follow you sub to me I will do the same for you I'll show you guys that same level of support because you guys mean the world to me if it wasn't for you uh, this wouldn't be possible so moving on to TikTok, I just created a TikTok recently um, very recently and I just want to thank you guys for the support on it because I I wish I had jumped on the bandwagon earlier. TikTok is a crazy platform. It is blowing up. And I my videos, these clips are blowing up. Ones I didn't even expect to blow up. And I thank you guys so much because I don't know. I'm going to start uploading here a lot more. I'm going to be uploading clips, sneak peeks, highlights, sneak peeks of my YouTube videos, all that kinds of stuff. Um, so make sure you guys follow me on TikTok. Uh, at until might um, and all the links to all my socials are in the description of every video so if you don't know where to find them check down there but I just I just uploaded this one and it has I uploaded this two days ago less than two days ago and it has this blown kid up. On me. it has blown up it has 555 likes and 16.4 K views it's unbelievable I the levels of on support the level of support on here on TikTok is absolutely insane so Thank you guys so much if you're watching these videos and commenting on them and liking them. I really appreciate the impressions, the, the support. The, you guys are insane. This one has, I posted this one. I have no, just an hour ago, I think. It's at 3,000 views. I don't know how that happened. This one's now at 20K views. I just refreshed. In the past hour, it got 4,000 more views. So I don't know what's going on, but thank you guys. You guys are getting some of these clips trending. I don't know how, but thank you guys. Um, I'm going to upload on TikTok a lot for you guys. And then on YouTube, you guys know I'm on that daily grind for all of 2020. As long as I have internet, as long as I'm cable, I will upload every day. That's a promise. So thank you guys so much for 456 subscribers. It means the world to me. Trying to get to 500 by the start of June. I still think we can do it. Trying to hit 1K by the end of the year. Uh, that is the huge goal. Um, and then I think we were almost at 8,000 total views on the channel as well. So thank you guys so much for that, man. You guys, uh, your guys' support is incredible, man. I love each and every one of you. I hope you know that. You can always reach out to me if you need any help with anything personally. Whatever the case is, just know I'm here for you. Just reach out to me on Discord or whatever it may be. I got your back, man. We're a family here. We're a community, and I love you guys, man. So just thank you so much for the support on the channel. It means the world to me. Um, with that being said, uh, that's the end of the Locker Tour, the settings video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much. Yeah.